What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again with an arcade 1UP machine, but instead of a Raspberry Pi inside of this thing, or an Odroid, I've installed the new Atomic Pi. As you can see on screen, I have Killer Instinct 2 running. This is the MAME version, running in LR MAME 2010. So what I've done here is installed Lubuntu 18.04 on the Atomic Pi, and then installed RetroPie x86, so we will be running RetroPie on this machine. So I won't be making a dedicated tutorial on installing the Atomic Pi in an arcade 1UP machine, but if you're interested in doing this, you can follow my Raspberry Pi install tutorial and substitute the Raspberry Pi for an Atomic Pi. And if you want to know how to install RetroPie x86, I've also created tutorials, so I will leave video links in the description, so everything you need and everything you need to know will be linked in the description below. For this, I'm using the same old HDMI LCD converter that you can get on eBay or Amazon. Plus, in the bottom here, I have my Atomic Pi along with a 4TB drive to hold all of my ROMs. Like I mentioned, the operating system I'm using is Lubuntu 18.04, but 18.10 will work. And I have RetroPie installed, so I can run some of the higher-end MAME games on this unit. It's got a quad-core Intel Atom X5Z8350, 2GB of RAM, and 16GB of built-in storage. You could run Windows on here from an external drive or pretty much any variant of Linux. I'm using the stock speaker that came with the Arcade 1UP and it's wired into the LCD controller board. As you can see, I only have one controller side set up because I robbed the other USB encoder out of here for another project and I just ordered some more, so I'm waiting on those to come in. But I think one player is going to be fine for this video. I just wanted to show you guys that this will work in an Arcade 1UP cab pretty well. So I have this set up to automatically start RetroPie, but I put a 10 second delay on it so it could detect that USB drive that I'm using for my external games. I do have a mouse plugged in for this session, just so you can see the specs on the machine, and I am using that Atomic Pie in this unit. But it is set up to automatically boot in the RetroPie. Unfortunately, I do have to see the desktop for a few seconds. If I don't set it up with a 10 second delay, it won't initialize that hard drive in time, and I just won't have any games in RetroPie. Yes, you can install themes on RetroPie x86 and Snaps work, and if you really wanted to, you could install a track mode in Ubuntu if you really wanted to. Overall, the Atomic Pie handles RetroPie really well. There are a lot of games that you can use on this system that you couldn't on the Raspberry Pi because it's much more powerful. You can play the cave games with no trouble and Killer Instinct 1 and 2. I'm sure there's a lot of other main games that'll work here, but some of the higher end 3D main games do lag on the Atomic Pie, so you can't play the whole library. And since I have this extra button installed, all I gotta do is press start and select, it'll bring me back in the emulation station. From here, I can play any of these FBA games that I want. I've installed FBA, some MAME, and Neo Geo. I really don't want console games on this, but it'll handle them. And since this is a Street Fighter cab, I do have a lot of Street Fighter installed also. Plus CPS1, CPS2, and CPS3. Just lots of great stuff here. But the main reason I went with this Atomic Pi instead of the Raspberry Pi is for higher end main games like Killer Instinct 2. Unfortunately, RetroPie's built in scraper's been broken for a long time, so I didn't get a chance to scrape these. And by the way, I'm using LR MAME 2010 to run Killer Instinct 1 and 2. <laughs> So as you just saw, with a little bit of setup, the Atomic Pi works really well in an arcade 1UP machine. These go for around $40 when they're available. They are on back order on Amazon, but people are kind of scalping them on eBay for around $50. Even at $50, I still think it's a good deal, but if you can scoop it up for $39.99 with free prime shipping, it's a definite buy in my book. 
If you want to see what else the Atomic Pie can do, I'm leaving a playlist in the description. I also have some arcade 1UP modding videos if you're interested in putting one of these in your cab. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else running on the Atomic Pie, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.